Hello friends, welcome to this current session on ETL testing tutorial 1. Today we will discuss about this topic. What all different kind of testing that we can perform within the reports that we will generate after doing that ETL process. Okay, so we have already covered what all are reports, what all are the reporting tools and when we will create the reports, what are the uh, like in which format, like it is a visualized format, we can have pie chart bar graphs, line graphs, right? So after that I covered what all tools we have and Tableau is a tool that we cover. So this is the current topic that I'll discuss now. What all different kind of testing? The very important one and uh, this is the one from its name. Only we can uh, like understand what all we'll do. Like very first one is BF functional testing. Functional testing ad hoc. We have many different kinds of testing and not only these testing but if I said this is functional testing within that different different kind of testing we can perform inside and I have prepared the word file for that let me show you that thing testing the reports this is the word file and within this only yeah so this is uh, what I was saying Within each and every kind of testing, we have different different ways to work with those uh, testings techniques. So, if I said this is a functional testing, functional testing, and one more thing, if I'm working within reports, if you uh, remember, yeah, I was explaining this uh, within my uh, website. It's edltestingtutorial.com. If you scroll down in module number 15th and 16th. I have explained to generate the reports and the dashboards right so if I'm saying report testing it surely means dashboard testing as well because the report testing is the name that is usually used that's why I'm saying the testing techniques within reports okay so reports and dashboards these all things are linked collection of multiple reports will give me dashboards and that all thing we have covered within the recorded videos okay so within reports we have uh, sorry within dashboards we have multiple reports and testing on reports means the uh, each and every report I'll test it surely it means that we are testing the dashboards as well right so this is what I was saying if I'm saying it's functional testing then dashboard design check dashboard design check means for a complete dashboard let's say if this is my dashboard within that we have multiple reports and if I'm saying this is a report testing, that means each and every report I'm going to test. And if it is dashboard, uh, collect, dashboard checking means collection of reports we are going to check. So both have actually the same meaning. Okay, so I'll check for the design of the report that we are getting. In the next session I'll show you how to install and I'll give you the example on that. Then the prompt set. If we are getting different different prompts within our uh, report within our dashboard will go for that check also if we are working within if we are uh, going to check for the accuracy the data that we are uh, showing within our bar graphs like within that only this one if this is my complete bar chart or the bar chart the percentage chart or the tree map so in every uh, the data that I am able to visualize should be accurate Right? We don't want, we don't want if the data after within the uh, data warehouse or within the target database, if it is showing me the percentage, the number of boys present in a class with the uh, science group, let's say within the science class, the number of boys are 48 out of 100 total means number of students, then 48% should be the correct thing. I don't want to mess up with the data. I don't want that. It, it, it give, it's giving me any inaccurate data right so that kind of testing again we'll do within the functional testing the accuracy test we'll do drill down, drill down report set drill down means again if I take the same example this is so I am getting the percentage of total number of boys in a class right so it's about total number Let's say I want to check out of 48 
students as a boys who are present i want to check which students like out of all the ninth class which students are born in year 1998 or 1998 to 2000 and I, then i want to check from 2000 2001 to 2003 what what is the list let's say within this year the age group of this age group let's say we have 20 students okay this is just the random data that i'm uh, just showing you and within this let's say if we have uh, again 20 students and then 2004 we have four students so if 28 is uh, 48 is the total number of boys and within that 20 students are from this age group 20 students are from this and four students are from this age group then if i go if i go for some like it's called as truncation of data usually actually So this thing is actually called as drilling. If I am, uh, from its name only, I am just drilling the record set out of 48, like 20s in this age, okay, there are 48. So let's say 4, 4 are from 2005. 2005. Okay, so total sum is giving me 48 record set, that's correct. So this is what I was looking for. If I am drilling it down to more granular, granular level, Right, it's uh, only for boys. Now I want to check in which year they born. Right, so that that kind of thing is actually called as granularity. Till which I am drilling it down to more granular level. Okay, so this is how we can uh, test for the this drill down reports. So I am going to drill it to more granular level. Performance check. If I want to do this, means I want to check in how many seconds it's giving me the correct reports. How much time it is taking to showing uh, to show the result? Browser check in which uh, in which browsers I am able to open that a report. If it is uh, working only within Chrome or if it is version specific, that all kind of testing we'll do within BI functional testing. And this BI from its name again it's clear. This is for reports or dashboards. And here there are uh, more of the cases that. Now the next kind of testing is ad hoc report testing. Ad hoc from its name again. It's clear. Ad hoc means on this code. Right? When I click once, is it giving me the correct report set or not? At the time when we are looking for more granular level again guys. Okay. So subject area. If we have multiple areas to design, let's say for the first one we have the boys. Of how many boys in the class from the age group of 1998 to 2000? That is the area that I'm uh, looking for. Mapping. If we have the mapping, if I want to map it from the reports, let's say this is my report. We have the Excel sheet with which I can compare. I'll do mapping. I'll check if it is giving me the correct reports or not. Joints check. We have multiple kind of joints: inner joint, left joint. Tab to do support these kind of joints also. So we'll uh, check for if Tableau is looking for if Tableau is working with the correct join. If we want inner join, it is giving me left join. We all know what is the difference between inner join and left join, left join and right join. We have all the correct reports within the SQL and as well as within the joiner transformation. Let me see here. Module number five is completely on joins. Module number five, part one, and also within joiner transformation. Module number 12, we have the joiner transformation. That also I'm explaining about the transformations. Right. So this is about joins. And one more thing, Tableau do support a smart join. That is the blending. Data blending is also supported inside Tableau. That is, while working within reports, you can create the blends. That is, again, the thing that I have already covered. So these all kind of testing you also do within the reports. This is the ad hoc. These all kind of testing comes under ad hoc report testing. So we are done with functional testing. We are done with ad hoc report testing. Next is stress testing or the 
security testing. So what is security testing? Security means at which level I want to access that report. So let's say if I create the report, let's say this is the report panel or the dashboard panel is the connection with technical reports. And I want not everyone to view that data. I don't want every user to view that data. If I'm uploading that data, if I'm uploading that report on my Tableau account, that thing I'll show you in the next session. Within the Tableau account, if I want to upload that report, but I don't want that everyone could view that data on which I am creating the report. So I can assign the security on the data. Right, this is for the data. I don't want everyone to view my source data. I don't want everyone to access my report also. I can hide the report from few users. I can go for single sign-on security. I can say that the one who actually have the account on the Tableau, only those people could access that account, that report. So that comes under security to which to whom I want to assign that security. Okay, and the last uh, kind of testing is the regression testing. So regression means any change if I made after implementing after implementing the change. Let's say prompts were not working correctly while doing the functional testing. I change something. If a subject area is not correct while doing ad hoc testing, then I'll make the changes. And in the end, regression testing is coming. Regression testing means on the data, on the changes that I have made, just test all of those changes. If after making the change, it's giving me the correct results or not. Okay. So regression testing is always performed in the end. Okay. And these all are the different, different kind, like the thing I said, prompts or report, data and the performance, uh, accuracy test. And the stress testing is again a part of the uh, report testing that comes under which all users are working with that. If I am allowing to make the changes within the record set to all users, to few users, that all comes under the stress test. Okay. If I am if I'm going for let's say 100 users in uh, one time, like firstly I am working on only single user, then I am I allow 100 users to work on that to make the changes inside the server, the Tableau server, in the cloud of that Tableau. Then how it's working, how it's showing, how it's working, how is the performance of that report? That all comes under the stress test. Okay. So that's all about this topic. What all testing we can perform? In the next topic, I'll show you how. Could I install Tableau? What all different versions of Tableau? How we can create the account within Tableau? 